this is all for her. Oh, <laughs> and I apologize, I should have said Ricky Lake and Mama. That's true, mama, that's true. But I'm you really, know what, really she's getting her own presence here in this country so far. I brought her to the big press day for X Factor, yeah. and she's kind of stole the show. Yeah. Oh. Uh, to say I was upstaged is not really an understatement. Oh, so, she has such say, a I've, calm I've fabulous. I've just noticed the color in your hair. You're, oh, you like it? You're actually channeling to I'm regressing. There, right? I'm, yeah. I'm now, I turned 51 a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I went to Burning Man for the third time this year, and I, I went and colored my hair for it, and so I wanted to keep it. It's What's just like Burning yeah. Man. Oh, what is Burning Man? It's a big festival. Yeah. Can you just shed some it's light? Like it's festival in the <laughs> desert, isn't it's it? It's basically yeah. the best oh, place yeah, no, in the world. Yeah, Ricky, so. she's, she's a bit older. <laughs> Come with me, I'll show you how it's done. Let's get some purple in your hair. <laughs> so we saw you meeting our Love Islanders there. Did you know who these guys were? I'd never heard of Love Island before. Really? I, I truly, it was the funniest thing, because you know, they, they, you know, it's this, you, you meet each other in this big moment, and they didn't know who I was either. <laughs> and so it was hilarious. They're too young to know my show. You know, my show back in the day, how many of you grew up watching me? Yes. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, so it's just, it was just very comical to me that I had never heard of the show. I've now been up to speed. I did some binge watching of Love Island. What did you, what did you oh, think? Yeah. It's crazy. It's like, <laughs> it's like in, the, in the US we have The Bachelor. It's like The Bachelor, bachelor times 100. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's good TV, just as X Factor is. Just, you I know, you guys. I this, this X Factor. It's so good. You guys, like I, I seized this opportunity. I've gone through a lot. As you remember, two years ago I was here with yeah. you. Um, I had just lost my husband a few months before. And, um, I, you know, I, I had been through it. I, I went through some of the darkest days. And so for me, at this time in my life, it's about seizing opportunity. And so when this mm. came up, the idea of coming back to this audience that grew up watching me and always, you know, really were very kind to me, I, you know, I, I didn't expect much. You know, I'd never really watched X Factor. I'm a Simon Cowell fan, but I hadn't watched the show, so I didn't know what to expect. They're all good, they all bring something to it. They're not all the best singers. I'm certainly not the best singer, but there's story, there's heart, you cry, you laugh. It's a, it's a really, really well so done show. So how long have you got to live in London for that? I'm gonna then? be here for two months. Two months? Oh. Yeah, the first part of the show, <laughs> so the first two episodes were done in LA. We actually went to Simon yeah. Cowell's house in Malibu and sang. Is that his real like, house? His real house, mm. his, well, it's not a house, it's a compound, you guys. It's like, yeah. it's yeah. massive, yeah. it's on the ocean, it's, it's, it's pretty spectacular. And then he had like 50 of his, his music superstar friends watching us. It was, you know, not a lot of pressure. Pressure. Wow. I mean, yeah, and it's, you know, people yeah. think that I was in Hairspray. I know you were in Hairspray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. London. So she was so excited that. last and night. I was excited. Motormouth Maybell, right here. Yeah. 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 It's all about But I didn't fabulous. sing in Hairspray, so most yeah. people think that I sang. I, the original movie in 1988 was all dancing. Yeah. Last year I was on The Masked Singer. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. it no, was I don't a, think it's, we have it's, in the, it's coming, get ready for it. Yeah. It's like the biggest hit show in, in the States in seven years. Like it's oh, massive. Wow. And, and basically they, they pick celebrities that are in costume. It was like kind of a fluffy, innocuous kind of opportunity. But it for me, I got to pay homage to my husband who passed and it was cathartic for Is me. Is that why you chose the Raven? Did yeah, you that's choose exactly the Raven? Why. I got to choose which costume I wanted and that resonated for me because it's about death, but it's about rebirth. It's you know, it just it just really did speak to me. Mm -hmm. And it was great. And it's just that that show took on and I think that's how these the X Factor team found me to do this. Yeah. Wow. So um, so how yeah. much of a, a comfort has Mama been then through these tough years? She's literally saved. I mean, to, it's, I'm not. I'm not overstating to say that she saved. I rescued her. I mean, I say she's the best decision I made in 2016 by rescuing this dog. She was dumped at the shelter two days before she had eight puppies. I named her Mama because she was the Mama dog. And so um, she became my legal therapy dog after my husband uh, took his life and, and succumbed to mental illness. And so. Uh, you know, she got me outside in nature. She got me to walk to the beach every day. I mean, like these little steps that you have to do. Life has to go on even when you don't want it to, you know? And so um, to, she got me out of my darkest days and coming to London for two months, I bring her everywhere. I mean, she's so well behaved. You guys are fawning. Yeah, I mean, this dog, yeah. this dog is Buddha, okay? Yeah, she is. She's, she's just incredible. the most zen. I can't believe yeah. she's, she kind of wants to go down, but she's, she's, yeah, she's, 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 she's yeah, just, yeah, honestly. Yeah, you want to let her go down to yeah, Let her go to wonder. Should I see if she wants some fine. loose women yeah. water? Oh, she's yeah. bored. Oh, yeah, there you go. You want a little? Yeah, maybe. And are you, <laughs> I know, it's ridiculous. Are you okay. comfortable speaking about your your partner who who died? Absolute, I mean, is that good for you? Because people will deal with it differently. It's healing for me to share yeah. my story. As as painful as it is, all of us. My my husband suffered from bipolar 
uh, depression, and I didn't know what that was. When he met me and we fell in love, he said, oh, I was, I'm, I'm, I was diagnosed bipolar. And I said, yeah, and I'm a control freak. We're like, perfect, you know? <laughs> I didn't know what an episode would look like, yeah. um, how devastating it is, how destructive it is. Um, but I don't want him to have died in vain. You know, I, I, I want my story to help others. And um, I've been pretty outspoken, because I don't know how else to be. I grew, you know, I was yeah. on this talk show for so many years, and I was so transparent and honest about my, my story and my life um, that it's just part of it, and I don't know how other, any other way to be. And I, I know he's proud of me. I know that he's with me. I know that he helped me to meet this new love in my yeah, life. You've got a new, a, a new not so new. Our one year anniversary is next week. Oh. But I have a beautiful. Thank you. Your ex husband sent him to you, or I do, or, or facilitated I do. your finding him. I, I absolutely believe because they're very similar. And if you see, I definitely have a type. If you see the two, two of them side by side, they look similar. Oh, I should have taken her collar off. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, but I, I do believe he wants me to find love again. He doesn't want me alone. And I, I, I want to believe that he was, he had a hand in, in introducing me but to my that, love. But yeah, that's helpful in itself, though, isn't it? Because it helps you in, in, in every way. It helps you get over him and it helps you move on. I don't think I'll ever get over him. Honestly, losing someone like that, like that. and um, you know, we had plans. We, we had bought a home together in Malibu. We were planning to get a place in Ibiza. So like we, we had a future, you know, it was mm. when he died, my future, or the future I, you know, I thought yeah. I had died that day. But, um, but there is life after loss. Yeah. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm the perfect example. I never thought I would find love again. I honestly thought I was lucky that one time and you don't get lucky. You don't, lightning doesn't strike twice. And I, I found a beautiful new soulmate who really is oh, right for me. And, and he doesn't okay. suffer the way, you know, for those of you that know what it's like to suffer with, alongside someone who's, who has struggles with mental health issues, depression, um, to wake up every day and to look over at my partner and he's like, you know, yeah. like sunshine. Yeah. I never knew what that was like, and it's really a, a blessing. Well, listen, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. We're, we're going to have to let you go because I think Vicky Passon's trying to kidnap your dog. Oh, I know, uh, I know. So you know really she's definitely, she, yeah, she's only happy when she's with me. Yeah. But you guys have to watch X Factor, I swear to you, you're going to love it. Oh, we will, absolutely. Oh, yeah. um, now, listen, if you've been affected by anything we've spoken to Ricky about this afternoon, there are helplines on our website. But for now, Ricky Lake, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Mama, and Mama.